this missive is to clear the apprehensions uh, about the new variant of uh, SARS-CoV-2, which uh, is threatening to uh, spread faster than the earlier variant. See, the new variant, which is called B.1.1.7, uh, underwent a mutation at uh, N5015 uh, and has a difference in its ACE2 protein. Uh, and this variant also has uh, a shorter mutated protein called uh, the ORF8. Okay. Uh, by the way, there is one more uh, variant which is now coming up, D614G, which is uh, yet another variant. And the whole world seems to be scared of these uh, new variants. Please note, every single virus in human history underwent mutations, and most of them erroneous mutations. And generally it leads to less virulent and less sustainable uh, strains. So the University of Oxford feels strongly that the huge amount of apprehensions going around the world uh, is uncalled for because these mutations, as what happened in B.1.1.7, the variant seen in UK, generally makes these viruses less virulent and less sustainable. Or in other words, they are like odd men out and they don't fit the bill, genetic bill of survival of the fittest. So at this point, the University of Oxford and I personally do not feel that these apprehensions are actually called for. The new strains are spreading fast, no doubt. But whether it's due to the relaxation of social distancing and opening up after the lockdown, or if it's due to the virulence and faster uh, infectivity of the new strain of the virus uh, is not clear. But then generally the trend is when a virus mutates, most of the time these are erroneous mutations and most of the time we have a strain which is not sustainable. In other words, we have a strain which may not survive for long. So these apprehensions at this point of time about the new variants seem to be unwarranted and uncalled for. Thank you very much.